Good Note 6 is out with new features this year, but it is really worth an upgrade? Let's find out in this video. First, we'll talk about pricing. There are three plans. One is free on which you can do limited work. The other one is for $10 per year. And the last one is for one time subscription for $30 only. First thing that you will see with an update is that there is a new icon for GoodNote 6. As soon as you open GoodNote 6, there is a left sidebar like Safari browser. It has tabs of documents, favorites, search, shared, and marketplace. Next, you can see that the folders and the books have more 3D looking design, which kind of looks good, but doesn't make a huge difference. There is an upgrade with templates. There is a whole lot of options in making templates as now they offer cool background selection with custom colors, which feels really interesting. But is this of any educational use? I don't think so. Similar to templates, now you have a variety of new book covers which you can choose. You can also visit marketplace for new ones, but I don't think it provides any educational value. Auto correction and word completion are truly new features that are added to handwriting in GoodNote 6. It has limited detections as handwritings may differ and auto correction is not very smart putting the right word which is appropriately fitting the sentence every time. Same goes for the word completion. There is also a difference in your handwriting and writing from the corrected ones or completed ones. Sometimes it is not able to detect simple mistakes. Scribbling is also the new feature that has been added to handwriting in GoodNote 6. Now you can just scribble away the text and the text would disappear. But if you are using Apple Pencil 2 as I use, you can just double tap the pencil and eraser would appear. And you can erase away the text and then double tap and it will switch back to the tool you have used the last. So I prefer using this one. Also the scribbling thing works 4 out of 5 times which is good. If you overwrite, it can automatically delete the text, so it is frustrating.
Eraser highlighter and shapes tools are same as GoodNote 5. Lasso tool, which I think is the best tool of the good notes. It is almost the same, but there is a new upgrade with the math problem in it. It doesn't automatically solve the equation and you cannot erase it. You have to choose the lasso tool again and then delete it. stickers there are some new variety of stickers but i think the old ones were enough you can also visit the marketplace for more stickers images if they were upgrading i would at least want them to allow import of multiple images together but still there is not an option this is again the same as in good notes 5 Undo and redo are at top left corner now, but I prefer to use two fingers to do undo and three fingers tap to do redo. The most features they have added in GoodNote 6 is in the keyboard portion. Now you can detect your mistakes with AI tool, paraphrase it, write in headings, subheadings and so and this feels amazing. As a medical student, I don't think this is of much use to me. So long story cut short, GoodNotes 5 will do most of your work. So if you want to watch how I take my notes on GoodNotes as a medical student, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.